Hey, what's up everyone? It's T-Bone here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legendary Game of Heroes. Today we're going to focus on one of the units I've had for a while, the Celestial Samuel Tech. Uh, he was an uh, exclusive unit that was given out as part of a uh, the Guild Wars, Guild Wars uh, a reward and this was back in January. And I've been uh, tr busy trying to level him up as well as some of the other cards that were exclusive. Uh, so I, now I have him at uh, 5 stars. And before leveling him up, I had him at four stars. Before leveling him up, him up uh, I was busy on the other two, the Celestial Devora, whom I got at six stars, as well as my um, Mecha Muramasa. So I focused on getting these two uh, to six stars, and now I'm ready to get um, get this last guy to six stars to finish my fire deck. So the way to level these units up, uh, these exclusive units, is to go to the Element of Trials. I've been pushing on this ever since uh, it came out, and you know it's it's fun. It's very challenging, especially the the last one, the Inert Inert Trials. As you can see, I have never been able to complete a trial of the Alloy, uh, the Earth one. And so what we're gonna do today is we're at twenty four oh five tokens. And if, I, if we can complete the Trial of Alloy and Trial of Desolation, we will get enough, um, to, we will get enough t tokens to, to level up um, Samuel Tech at 6 stars because uh, to level him up, it requires uh, 500 astral, fire, uh, fire Astral Stars, which comes up to 2,500 tokens. So I'm at 2405, so just 95 more before we get there. So let's go ahead and get started. And to do this, I'm going to try out my um, my attacker, my dark attacker deck. So let's go ahead and uh, build it out. Let's see, hopefully one of our friends still has her, our uh, Lady Ajesta. Yes, thank you. Bell 4 ka you are a good friend. And so this is, uh, let me see, let me just go ahead and change this one up. Uh, change the relic here to, let's change it to a better shield. So I think, uh, oh, let's see. This one does health as well as additional health. Okay, so we'll use this. And uh, let's go and get started. I've been using this deck. Uh, to basically, you know, do all the different dungeons, and I've been having really good success. I even was able to use this in the dark dungeon, uh, the dark, uh, where it's all dark, and even with the reduced um, hell, uh, with reduced attack, fifty percent against dark enemies, I was able to to um, to finish it. So I'm hopeful for this one. Uh, let's see if we can get this going. All right, and let's see here. So I'm just going to focus on getting as many matches as possible to maximize the attack. Now what's really nice with this uh, Dark Attacker deck is I have two Dark uh, Lady Jestas who can actually you know heal me fully and also uh, push back the, the attack for uh, the unit by one by two turns each at six stars. And so let's see how can we do this here. Now this this unit here, uh, the Titan, the Emerald Titan, uh, really annoying. He has this uh, armor, and when when his is ar when his armor is up, most of the attacks are very ineffective because his har armor is so high. But with the Dark deck, I've been able to bypass it. So let's see, we should be good here as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and do a match like this, so that I can get two power gems going, and. Unfortunately, that I lost that already. So you can see the armor is uh, set now, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let's build this up once more, and we should be able to take him out after this attack. Let's see. Okay, so we took out the other one, and that's okay. So I think we should be good. Let me just go ahead and I want to save the the power gems right now, uh, so I'm just going to focus on just continue to chip, continue chipping away here. All right, one last attack and we should be good. There you go. That was the one I was looking for. Um, all 
And prior to this, I mean, I wasn't even, I was hardly able to get, get past this state. Oh, here it is. So you can see where most of my attacks were blocked because I didn't match enough uh, to increase the attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use one of the attacks here. So 60,000 was quite enough. Let's see the Avenging Angels, 17,000. Okay. Let's do this one more time. Uh, this is where I was having a really difficult time because every attack that I was doing was getting nulled out. And it looks like, yeah, because I'm not matching enough, this is the issue here. So this was the issue I was facing. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I have no choice here. I'm just going to go ahead and match this. And I'll move this one over so that my power chains are next to each other. And now that my Celestial Devore is up, uh, but I don't think I need to use her just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and do a bunch of matches here. Um, because I think it's the multiplier. So if I can add up the multipliers, I should be good. Yeah, this should be good now. There you go. So attacks of 100,000, 90,000 or so is, is, I think, what is needed to go over the threshold. And now, let's see if we can uh, get past these units quickly. So let's see here. All right. Um, this really is one of the harder dungeons. The Sunday, the, the, the flux trials are really hard and that's what makes it really interesting just because of how difficult it really is. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and build up a power gem here. And we need to start taking out those, uh, those ones that are about to explode. All right, so that's good. Check, okay, I can do this match, this match. Just to get rid of that, but then I didn't match any any black any dark ones yet. I don't have anything that's close by either. Um, so how do I do this? Oh, I can do this, follow up with that, match some more. Just just to build up the um, multipliers, and let's see if this is enough to take him out. Good. All right. And now what we're going to do is, uh, now that I've built up everything here, I'm just going to go ahead and match the power gems. And Prophet Minerva, Minerva, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, first, you know, set her back so that it'll take her six turns to attack. And I'm just going to use up all of my uh, power attacks here. Now, unfortunately, um, this unit only attacks dark units or, or light units. So everything else, they all uh, defend attack. That's okay. So this is what I'm planning to do. I'm going to match the power gem with the two darks on the left, and I'm going to match the other two. So I'm going to do this, follow right there. And it looks like that's the only available matches. But this should be enough uh, with 12 multipliers. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so we did the first one successfully, and that should give us 75 tokens. So 70 tokens. And then uh, if we get the last one, that gives us 100 tokens. So we're really, uh, uh, really betting on this one now. I have not done a uh, trial of desolation. If we lose, then we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to, uh, to get enough tokens to upgrade. But I'm hoping that we will be able to succeed here. And thank you, fellow friend, Tree Gemmer. So let's take a look again, right? So her battle skill is to fully heal herself and increase the number of turns until the target attacks by two. And given how fast all the other units, uh, you know, uh, charge up, you know, you can just kind of, you can just wait. You can just keep keep building it up and, and keep going. So uh, this is a really powerful deck. If you have any of the same units here, I recommend you really try out this deck. All right, this is the the Trial of Desolation. Let's see what the health is like with these guys. 180,000. And I'm assuming that the bear is probably even higher. All right. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so we have a couple of power gems that we can match already, which is good. And I can build up another one here. Which is an even better gem. 
All right, so the first round, so far so good. Let's see what the second round brings us. Uh, all right, we have Arthur of the round, the 719,000 health. And what am I going to do here? I think I'm not going to take any chances. I have seven turns. I'm just going to go ahead and in case I don't take them on the first turn, I'm going to go ahead and push them back a little bit in case their attack's really strong. And I'm just going to use up my... my power gems here. Let's see if we can take them out right away before uh, they do any damage to us. And that's why I pushed them back. As you can see, I, I, I wasn't able to take them all out. So I think that was a good decision on my part to uh, to use the power gem for that reason. And I'm going to go ahead and build up another one. And then, um, let's see. I still have one more turn to take care of them after this. Good. Now, I don't know what kind of de damage they would have dealt, and I don't want to find out. Because <laughs> I don't want to risk losing um, and having to, to use up gems to, to continue. All right, so I'm going to build up another power gem here, and that's really the name of the trick here, is just to build up power gems whenever the opportunity arises. And this is what I'm going to do. And then match another one here. You always want to build up your um, multipliers as much as possible in addition to getting the power gems, um, just because you know that's how you can really boost up your damage. Uh, and also, we want to make sure that we, we um, get our Dark Age filled up. And so we're just going to go ahead and do this, that, and then there you go. Okay, that takes it right there. All right, this one's all right. We're, we're doing good here. We're doing good. Um, so I can do a match this way. All right, so now what we've got is we've got two power gems, and we have enough for a few more matches so that we should be able to take care of some milk tech at 540,000 without any problems. So first, let's go ahead and do the same thing, push this turn back a little bit and just attack as much as possible right now. And then let's just go ahead and do this. All right, so we got matches here, matches here, and let's see. 14, 14 times, we should be good. And there it is. All right, Trial of Desolation completed without any issues, without a continue, and without even taking any critical damage. And we got three stars. All right, so we got 100 tokens for, for completing this one. And we are now at 2575. And that gives us enough to get the Fire, fire Astral Stars, enough of them to get me going. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue here, and I will show you when I uh, I'm going to continue here, and I'll probably cut the the video short so that you don't have to see me go through this. But this is a kind of a pain point. All right, and now we're back. Uh, we are just one click away from uh, getting our last bit of fire astral star. Uh, I did indeed go through 500 clicks and more because each time I click I have to wait a little bit. So I just keep clicking. And we are finally now at 500 ast uh, Astral Star. So let's go ahead and uh, level him up. There it is. 170,000. Six stars. Awesome. So let's take a look at his stats. At level 42, he's a 1989 attack and 1300 health. That puts him uh, now finally closely aligned with his peers. And also he gives uh, four times bonus for both uh, Slayers as well as Bounty Hunter events. And so with that, my fire deck is complete and I'm happy uh, to say that you know, I am finally free of uh, trying to level up these units, and now what I can do with uh, the, the trial stores, uh, with these elemental trials, is to start focusing on collecting enough for the potions, because now I need to level up all the units that I have. 
Uh, just a quick note, I don't know if it's really worth it to be buying the, uh, the crowns using this uh, approach, although it is possible at a thousand tokens each. Um, even tier shards at 200 it seems uh, a little unrealistic unless you're just looking for the one or two to fill up your slots. But I think uh, Longanite Shard is a really good deal, uh, 50 each, so you can really uh, level up quickly. Or uh, Feather Shard, uh, Blade Shard as well, uh, for you to get those uh, units from level uh, 3 to level 4. Anyways, that is all the episode. That, that's all for today's episode. Hope you had a good time. Uh, if you haven't, uh, once you're level 80, make sure you check out the Elemental Trial. It is a lot of fun. Uh, build up your tech. Let me, uh, you know, give me feedback. Let me know what you're using, and uh, let me know if you're, uh, you know, what else you like to see. And I will see you next time.